it is Saturday morning. Scott and I just got back from some breakfast with my mom and my dad and our nephew. He spent the night with my mom yesterday, so he was there too. But I wanted to record and give you guys an update on Dexter. He had his surgery yesterday. Um, so I dropped him off yesterday morning and then we picked me and Scott both picked him up about, we got there about 4.30. And then they took us into a back room, which was kind of making me nervous. He can see Darcy, that's what he's looking at. But um, then the vet came back and was telling us about how they said the surgery went well. Hang on, Bubba. And um, that typically this type of surgery is done. I'm going to let him go see her. Typically this surgery is done at like six or eight weeks when they're really young. Because it's something that is noticeable from the very beginning. But... The doctor said since, you know, Dexter's three, that there could be scar tissue or scar buildup. And so he can't guarantee that this the surgery won't need to be tweaked a little bit later. But he said he did obviously the best he could. And so we'll go back in two weeks to do a follow-up. He has a big cone that the vet said he doesn't have to wear if um, we have our eyes on him to make sure he's not pawing at it. So I took it off right now. But he's been sleeping in this sunroom. He can't really get into his crate with this huge cone that he has on, so we have a um, a big bed for him and the couch and everything. So he's been sleep. He slept in here last night and did well, but he doesn't like the cone. Obviously, it's very annoying to him. But um, I'll try to do a close up video so you can kind of see. It's just some like black or purple stitches underneath. It kind of looks like he's gotten into like a fist fight with some bloody eyes, but. I think he has to feel better and we have antibiotics he gets three antibiotics a day and then two pain pills for like four days hey get your head out but overall i think he did good i think it was fine it has to feel better um i also wanted to tell y'all that the book that i was reading for march i finished the into the water by paula hawkins it was pretty good i would probably recommend it it was a good read but i didn't love the ending of it so basically it's about I think this place in like Europe or England somewhere like that and hey don't fall and there's this pond or river this water area that a bunch of women are found in and so the book is kind of talking about if they're suicides if it was a not suicide and so it's really interesting but I just wasn't crazy about the ending but I think Scott and I might go to the library today to find another book for me to read since I already finished my March one. But I think I'm about to put his cone back on him because he keeps pawing at his eyeballs. We just got out of the library and both of us got a book. So I'll let Scott tell you which book he got. Uh, it's called Redeployment. I think it's about the war in Iraq. I don't know exactly what it's about. Didn't read much of the foreword. I think it's like he goes to Iraq and then comes back and then gets redeployed and comes back. Basically like the struggles of being over there and the struggles of coming back home. So I googled like best books of 2014 because I figured they would be pop like they would have been good books but they would be in the library now because it's five years later and that was on it so I figured he would like that book so I recommended it. And then I got this one. The one that I wanted from 2014 wasn't in the library so i just found this one under the new books but it's called i invited her in and down here it says and she took everything so apparently this is like this girl gets a email from one of her oldest friends that she hasn't talked to in a long time and the girl needs a place to stay so she invites her in and later she will take everything so we'll let you know what we think about these right we give them your review sure if he reads all of it when was the last time you read a book? Uh, it's been a long time. You read Dave Ramsey. Yeah, that's true. Okay, we're gonna leave the light right now. So since Dexter and Darcy kind of have to stay away from each other, since he has the cone and the stitches in his eye and everything, we're kind of keeping them apart for a few days. So his little recovery area is the sunroom and we moved, Darcy had this big 42 inch circle bed that we got from Costco months ago. And that's what she usually sleeps in in our room and Dexter sleeps in the crate with blankets and stuff. But we moved Darcy's bed, the big circle one, into the sunroom because it's easier for Dexter to just walk onto than try to jump on the couch with the cone on and everything. But yesterday we went to Costco because they still had beds 
I saw them like a week ago, so I knew they still had some. But they had the circle ones that are 42 inches, which was like $30, like $29 or $30. But then they had these squares that were, I think, $38 that were $27. So a dollar difference. And the circle one is definitely bigger, but the circle one was kind of too big for our bedroom anyways. Like we couldn't really open our bedroom door all the way because of where Darcy slept. But I'm going to show you all the one that we got for her yesterday from Costco. So they still have them and they're super cheap because this same size bed at Target or a smaller bed is like $40 to $50. So Costco is definitely the place to get your dog beds if you have a bigger dog. But let me show you. This one looks better in our room anyways and Darcy slept good on it. So here it is. Again, I think the square looks better in here. Our door can finally open all the way. And both the square one and the circle one have a zipper. So you can take the cover off and wash it. And they're both like flippable, I guess, like double-sided. So this the bottom has the same exact thing. So she could sit on it. Come here. Wow, you love your bed. You love it? It's the perfect size for her. The circle one, she never really took up like the whole thing anyways. So I think we'll probably keep that one in the sunroom permanently for them to lounge on. And that's the little dinosaur that we got from TJ Maxx and she loves it. And this is the old one that we had, that Darcy had. So this one's 42. It also has um, a zipper, so a removable cover to wash. Darcy loves it. But you can kind of see like, she lays in the middle and so the the stuffing or whatever the cushion kind of goes to the sides but we just toss a blanket on top for them to snuggle with and a toy but it's easier for dexter to just walk onto that than like that cone would not fit and it's great but there's toys in there and then we look this is the first thing dexter's done well not the first thing but the first thing to furniture but i think we can just cut it and it'll actually be fine Darcy loves to watch the TV in the laptop. Whenever I'm like editing a video or something, she loves to follow the mouse. So Scott has been putting on, what is this, dog videos? Yeah. Dog videos and she loves it. And Dexter's in his recovery room. Oh my goodness, she loves it. <laughs> How long did she watch it yesterday? That was about 20 minutes. She will just sit here for 20 minutes. Oh, she paused, she paused it. Oh, her chinny chin. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's so funny. I think she muted it somehow. I don't think there's no sound. Darcy, what do you think? What's that guy doing? Dexter's Conan. We're calling him Conan O'Brien. Oh, he's eating a blanket actually. Oh. And um, off Dexter because he looks like he makes tail. That's funny. And here's Darcy. <laughs> he's actually got the donkey. Oh, good. You, oh, you don't want to miss anything. Don't look at me. You don't want to miss anything. So, y'all probably seen our bedroom in the vlogs a few times, but we have decided to move the furniture around. So, right now, right when you walk in, there's a dog's bed that I just showed y'all. There's a sweet doggies right there. We got this row for 100 bucks at Big Lots, and we try to vacuum it, but it still looks dingy. So, when we move it, this part that's been under the bed has obviously never been like touched. So we're gonna flip it so it'll look nicer. But we have two, this is Scott's closet and Scott's side. And so there's his nightstand. We have one just like it on the right side. And the only really decor we have are these, which I love. They're just eight by tens, but with a really big frame. But I love those. And then we have the string lights, which you can't really tell. But basically we're just gonna move the bed to this wall here. We're probably gonna move those pictures up there too. The dogs are sniffing each other. But then I don't know where we're going to move the laundry basket. And then that's my closet. Thanks. That's from our wedding. There's Scott. And that's our bathroom that's attached. So we're just going to see how we like it with the bed. Dexter. Moved. There's corn head.
So this is what we're working with. We just kind of flipped everything around. So there's our laundry basket and the thing from our wedding. And then we're gonna move those. Scott just doesn't have his um, hammer or level inside. So we're, we're gonna put those back over there. And we're about to go to Hobby Lobby to see if we can find, I think we want like a black circle mirror and then either floating shelves or like sconces or something. We're gonna look around to see what they have. But then this is what we have so far. The layout of this room is just so sh like strange. So like it's not really centered on that wall. And now like my nightstand's over the vent, which is the problem that we're having over here when Scott's nightstand was over the vent. But we have a lot of empty walls that we're gonna try to go to Hobby Lobby and see what we can do. But first we're gonna go to Chick-fil-A. Yay? Yep. How do you feel about the layout? Uh, I like it. It's new. It's new. How do you feel about it? Good. <laughs> We just left Hobby Lobby. We didn't vlog too much in there, but we got some really good stuff that I'll show you whenever we get home. But like I said earlier, I think we're just trying to decorate the master bedroom. Our house in general is very not decorated, but like minimalistic. But to other people, it probably looks, we have a lot of blank walls. So the master bedroom is probably gonna be like the first one that has actual stuff on basically every wall mm -hmm. but i'm very excited we found exactly what we were looking for but now we're at target looking for floating shelves and those golden eggs that the vlog i can link it up here if you didn't see i think it's on one of these sides that um when me and my sister went to target the golden eggs that um we mentioned kara got some and watch that vlog to see what we're gonna do with them okay let's go to target So we're trying to find floating shelves. They don't really have too much. Well, they have ones like this that have stuff underneath. We, I want like a seamless, just floating shelf. But they have this, which is like a ledge because I probably will put some pictures or something leaning up like that. But they only have one and I think I need two. But they also have these. They have it like in this metal. What do you think about that, babe? I like the black wooden one that you've already got. I just wish they had a second. Okay, so this is an overview of all the stuff we've got. I'll start with Hobby Lobby. So we got this little galvanized thing and then three strands of lavender. They're super long, so we're going to cut them a little bit. Cause that right now that's like how far they go, but we're going to cut that. And then we got those things and this huge black mirror, which is exactly what we wanted. Nothing like at the top, no rope or anything. It's exactly what we wanted. And so, like I said, those are going to move over here. And then this black mirror is going to go up there. And then we got, that's all we got at Hobby Lobby. So then at Target, we got these two shelves. Um, they're like a dark wood with some gold. We're going to see how we like that. And if we don't like it, we can spray paint it, whatever, but we like the shape of it. And so those will either go on either side of the mirror or maybe both on one side and then the mirror. We're going to see what we like better. And then also at Target, they only had one of these. So I'm going to have to go again and find another. We got some toothpaste because we were running out. We always use the Crest 3D white. I got some more e.l.f. face powder. That's just like once I put my concealer on just to set it. And then another one of these, I told you this is a holy grail. I love this stuff. I get it every time if I can. And then the last thing was just this little black mat for um, Darcy. Like I said, we're keeping them separate. So we have that for her water bowl because we've been keeping her in here when we go somewhere. It's very exciting for her. But that's all the stuff we got. We're about to run to Greer to eat with Scott's family and pick up a guitar. But then we're going to set all this stuff up and I'm very excited. I'm excited. How excited are you? Very. He's also very excited. We're home from dinner in Greer now and it, it's already like 930 but we really want to set some of this stuff up. So I have some stuff here that I'm thinking about putting on the floating shelves, but we're going to decide how we want it laid out and we're going to move 
the three pictures over here. So that's what we're doing right now and then we're gonna get ready for bed. So this is the finished product so far. We probably will tweak some things um, in the future, but for right now, that's what we're working with. So right when you walk in, there's the overflowing laundry basket and Darcy's bed. And then we put this, I told y'all we got this at Hobby Lobby. It was originally 120, but we had the 40% off, so we got it for $72. We got the both those shelves at Target for $30 a piece. That egg up there was $5. And everything else we already had. We have these, which again are just eight by 10, um, black and white pictures that are engagement and wedding photos. And then I th think we got the frames at Hobby Lobby or somewhere, but you know, you can get those anywhere. And then we got this at Hobby Lobby. The little galvanized thing was like $9. And the lavender, we got three springs of it and it was $4 a piece. So that is all we have. I thought about putting one of those big mirrors right there, the stand-up ones against the wall, but I think it would kind of crowd the place. So for right now, this is all we have. Our style anyways is very minimalistic and clean looking. So I like it so far. Um, we might get linen curtains instead of these dark gray ones that might brighten the room up a little bit, but it took a long time to get all this stuff done. I feel like I always decide to do stuff like this usually like at nine o'clock at night. So at least we did this earlier, but since we were gone to Greer to take a little bit longer, but I'm happy with it for now.